What's up guys, it's C-Boy Gang, welcome back to another mod review video. In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the mechanism of how the um, TLX Phoenix Wreck-It is, I think is what it's called. Let's go ahead and just confirm that right there. Yep, it is the Phoenix Wreck-It Pack, which has the, um, it has the CAT, which is this one, has the CMS, and it has the D60. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um in terms of the features they have like you know the additional stuff i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the functionality of it um so let me go ahead and purchase a truck or a tractor actually let's do let's try let's try something simple to start actually no let's not try something simple i'm gonna go ahead and try lifting this record here itself so let me jump in So these trucks have a lot of capabilities. Um, there's a lot of features in them and that's the reason why I'm not really gonna go over each one. DJ Goham has a video with basically every single feature this truck has. Um, what I'm gonna show you is how to do the wrecking. So this truck, this when you purchase this truck, you have this attachment. This attachment is located under Tools Miscellaneous. It's right here and it's called the TLX Phoenix Wreck. TLX Phoenix Wreck-It Attacher. It's $500. Um, what this does, it attaches to anything that has a um, trailer hook, a trailer hook, trailer tow hook on there. So for example, this truck has it in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in front of the, the, um, the truck. So to pick it up, it's gonna be B to pick it up. All right, as you can see, it's right there. And then B to also drop it, put it down in front of that truck. So let's go into this vehicle, and as you can see at the bottom, it gives you the attacher. A2S, attachment TLX Phoenix. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that. Next step, this is where things kinda get tricky in terms of maneuverability and how to maneuver the truck into the right position and all of that stuff. So let's go ahead, pull this up over here. And I, I know I said this in almost every single solitary video I do. I am not the best driver, so please bear with me. So for this to work, you're going to want the truck to be in control group three, which is the wrecker. You're gonna do Y to get it in that position. And as you can see at the top where it has a tractor beside the controls, it has a number three and also shows you control group um, wrecker three. So you're gonna do LB and A to open the mechanism. Let me just pull forward here a bit. Now that the mechanism is open, you're gonna do LB and it is yeah, so LB and you push the right joystick up or down and that's going to raise it lower. That's basically all you need to do for that part. Um, I think the next one is going to be, so if you wanted to extend it, you're going to do RB and you push the right joystick up or down to extend it or pull it back in. To get the wrecker arm down, it's going to be LB and RB and then you push the right joystick to the left to get it into a low position. So what you're going to attempt to do is Back up the wrecker with the with the um, the lift down. Get as close under the vehicle you're trying to lift as possible, because you're trying to get. You just jump out to the truck really quickly to show you what I'm talking about. You're gonna try and get that arm as close to this as possible, and then use the fasten belt option to get it attached. So let's go ahead now and let's back up as close as we possibly can. I think. That should pop, should be close enough. All right, so let's do LB, right joystick, and is that, come on. Make sure you're in the record group three again. I just stepped out of it. So LB, and you push the right joystick to the right, and that's gonna lift it up. So now, let's jump out really quickly again. You can see that the attachment is pretty close to it. So what we're going to do is hit the fasten belt button and this right here is going to attach to that via belts and that's how we're going to maneuver it. So let's go ahead now and try that. Let's do... It's going to be RB and push the right joysticks in. Did that work? Let's see. I don't think it did. I don't think it's close enough. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, it, it worked. So let's do RB, LB and see if we can actually lift it up. Yep, there we go. So now, 
we have that truck attached to it. Now the thing is, I, I, I think this truck is probably a bit too heavy, so it's not gonna give you the um, the speed it should have, but that's basically how it works, you know, in terms of functioning and all of that. That is how it works. I'm gonna jump out of the truck here once more and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, I, I didn't do really well. It was only one side of the hitch that got attached, but this, is a fasten belt and it basically attaches to this object. It actually works the same way as, um, I think 82 Studios also have uh, another thing similar to that that you can put on top of the vehicle for carrying it on the flatbeds. There you go. It's actually lizard. The belt support, which is the last thing in the menu right there, you can see. It works similar to that, where if you place that on top of a, place a truck or any vehicle on top of a flatbed and place that thing on top of it, the belt mechanism, the fasten belt mechanism will detect it and work in that way. So what I'm gonna try and see here is if we can, how far we can pull this. I know we probably shouldn't be pulling this. Oh, no. Let's unfasten the belts. Oh, I messed up. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me start over. Let's see if I can pull forward. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's lower this bad boy. Why is it not going any further down? All right, let me reset the the, um, the mechanism really quickly. Let's reset. Let's drop that down. That's as low as it gets now. Why is that? I think I broke it. Oh, okay, let's see if that made a difference. Nope, it's not getting any lower. All right, let me reset the truck and see that makes a difference. So let's start her up. Press Y till it gets to record three. And then I'm gonna see if I can lower it. Come on. LB and A to lower the mechanism. Wow. It's not getting any lower. Oh, there we go. So I just think it needed to be reset. So let's again try to get this as close as possible. RBLB push the, jo the right joystick to the left. I'm gonna get that uh, as low as possible. Then now you do RB and push the straps, the fasten belt button in. Now let's see if we um we we got it. Yep, yep, we did. <laughs> right now it's kind of like hanging magically, but it works. It it, it seems to have worked. Let's let's test it out now. All right, so that does work. I, I, this is interesting um, in the sense that, let me actually lift that up. Yeah, this is interesting in the sense that um, it, it gives you, I, I like mods that give you more functionality in the games. Uh, is that too high? Oh, oh. That's too high.
yeah, I like mods that give us more functionality and, you know, the ability to do other things that would in some sense be entailed in farming. For example, you know, you have a, a piece of equipment that broke down and you have to wrecker it. Um, you could do it yourself. But this gives you that option. It's this, these, these mods, 82 squared, the, those guys have really amazing mods. And this is one of them. You know, just the ability to do something additional in the farming zone. That's basically it, guys. That's how you use it. If you have any questions, please go ahead and um, leave a comment below. If you want to stay up to date every time I post a video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell beside the subscribe button. And, um, you know, go ahead and like the video. And like I said, any tips, any suggestions you guys have, comment below and I'll get back to each and every one of you. And thank you guys again for the amazing support.